Hello again. And thank you for, for stopping by to have a look at one of my videos. Today we're going to tackle that challenge, painting a tree. Now some people find this just a little bit daunting. But it is quite easy if you just do it in simple steps. And this is what I'm going to try and show you today. Just the simple steps to painting a tree. To start with, we need a bit of background. There. The background will help the trees stand out that little bit better. So I've got on, the, on the palette here, I have a, I have a, a, a mix of black using midnight black, phalo blue, and crimson red. All those together make a really nice black. What I'm going to do is fill in the background now, starting at the bottom, just follow, following up, just in dabs. This is in the this is the background of the tree. That you don't see from the front. So like working on working on a background of a painting and moving forward, we do the same things with trees. this stage of a painting it's going to look a bit rough eh, now we're just going to warm that up with some Van Dyke brown and crimson red a little bit more on the reddish side just an odd down here and there. Think that. Not too much. See, we've already got the background in for a tree. Eh? Here, just a, a little bit more. There we go. Now, how easy is that? I've, I've shown you this way because I found this the easiest way when I was doing trees, when I first started trying to do a tree. And the next thing, the next thing we need. in one movement. There we go, we're, we're in with Van Dyke Brown. And make, make sure there's enough on your brush to do a nice long sweep when you paint. There's nothing worse than running out of paint halfway through a brush stroke. It's really annoying. That's all. Start right up here, using the end of the brush. There we go. Start right up here. I'm going to come straight down. There we go. That was easy, wasn't it? Then we do the same again. Right across here, 
Same again, but this time I'm going to leave a gap here. I'll show you what I mean. You know, you're watching from going from there, nice and steady, nice little line like that. See that? Now, because of the foliage, sometimes a trunk gets lost. But then we spot it again here. So this will be full of foliage there, but you can still see the outline of where the tree would be. I'm going to, have to put another one here, look. That was easy, wasn't it? We're already in line for having nice trees in our painting. Um, simple background, nice confident stroke all the way down. You could practice this on a piece of cardboard first. Nice and steady all the way down. Just keep contact with your brush all the way down. Once you've, once you've made that stroke four or five times, you, you get the hang of how to do that. Uh, that's how I started. Just a piece of cardboard, have a practice. All the way down, one stroke. Uh, now then, what we need to what we what we need to do next is to make these branches start to look like trees. a brush just to make the accents of a few twigs here and there. The secret to this the secret to this for it to be nice and loose, nice and free. You know, you know, very gentle, just kissing the page, just kissing the canvas. A simple brush. We, we carry these simple brush strokes. It's already starting to look like a tree. Hey, these things can be a little bit easier. Just a little bit of patience, practicing. Practice this stroke on a bit of cardboard. Eh, you'd be amazed what you can do. Here we These are already giving the tree a, a positive look of a tree. These are the things we collectively define as a tree. We look up, we see the trunks, we see the boughs, and we see the leaves. And if, if we can qualify this in our paintings, we are already on the road to convince it to make a convincing tree. 
that people believe in. This is a tree. See, it's already taking shape, listen, to, and we're, we've hardly done anything. And that's the secret of painting. You hardly do anything to achieve a lot. And if you learn these little tricks here and there, it's amazing what you can achieve in a painting. A painting is only what the artist wants you to see. Do you how many of these you put in? I think, I think we're about at the finish here now. Just put about two more and that'll do me. I'll, I'll be happy with that. A little bit better. There we go. We're all set now. There's your basic outline for a tree. Now that was simple. That was really simple. Now that wasn't rocket science, was it? This is how I learned to paint a tree and I hope there's some, might be just a little tip that you take away from this that you can use yourself sometime. Uh, but the, this little tip made this, this part of a painting so easy to learn. Uh, the next bit we're going we're gonna to put on a little bit of light. These are going to these are going to be silver birch. See that the little little bit of white on the end of the knife. There you go. That's easy, isn't it? Nice little bit of white. Same again, nice bit of white. Just be gentle. Just be gentle. Using these, you don't go in all guns blazing, you know. Just go in nice and steady. Old manner. There we go. That was easy, wasn't it? Hey, we follow, we follow this through and the rest, and the rest of the tree trunks. Just little touches like that. Look, look how they've lit up them trunks. Very gentle. This is very, very similar to how you put your paint on a mountain. A nice, gentle glance. It's just enough to allow the paint off the palette knife. Rest on. Let, let, let the picture take the amount of paint it wants. Yeah. <laughs> 
No, beautiful. Hmm. All this painting is about approach. If you approach your painting in the right manner, a decent painting comes up on your side for doing so. It's all a set of stages. Each stage helps prepare the finishing item. Let's just get this last one on. Oh, these are looking better, aren't they? Hey, we're starting. We're starting to get some resemblance to a tree. You know, as a, as a blink, it's not far from a tree. There, is it? Hey, all we need now is the external colours of the, of the leaves. Just clean. Just clean this brush off. all new to me recording. <laughs> I seem to have stuff all over the place here just, just, just to be able to do this. So if I tend to take my time a bit you'll know, just have to bear with me for the moment. Uh, as I get the gist of doing this I'll be, I'll be able to do a better job. Right the next bit we need, we need some leaves up the top. I always do autumn sort of colours. So what I do a little bit of little bit of white on the brush first. Just a little bit, just to just to grace the leaf, the the bristles a little bit. I go into the The yellow ochre. In the same way, just, just tap it into your brush and then just, just rest the paint near the top. There we go. You see that? That's all, that's all ready to deliver some, some paint to, them, to these trees. There, we're going to start up here. In, a, in a, a, a very light tapping motion. Here we go, right to the top. See that? Nice, nice and light. Turn the brush. Yeah. We've got a bit more paint. Nice and nice and light, just at the top. Isn't that isn't that easy? And the difference with these bristle brushes, pure bristle brushes, is they're a bit on the stiff side. So they leave this lovely speckle effect. And it, it, it makes them it, it makes the effect appear like leaves. 
just for using the right kind of brush. Now, what we don't want to do here is take away all these nice little bows we put in, so we, we try and paint around them. Just be gentle. No prizes for being being daft with this bit. The only prize you get is for doing it properly. And that's a nice painting at the end of it. Yeah, up to the top. Now, you see how this is all coming together now? to finish about about there with it. Now then we're moving into the realms of a, a silver birch again now, aren't we? That's what, what we're gonna do next. I'm gonna I'm gonna to add some pink to some red to this. This has already got some of the Van Dyke browning from when we did the background. So there's a, a nice mix of colour just in that brush. There. These, these, are your, these are your little bonuses, these. You try and mix a colour like that, you can't. It's impossible. But when, when you get a colour like this, use it because it'll make your pictures look really nice. Here we go, up to the top. Just a, just a touch. It'll all qualify. You, you don't need to put loads on. You, you just want enough. Enough is plenty, isn't it? See that? Just little touches. The eye will register that all the way through, whether it's there or not. Because we, if we see part of something, we assume the rest of it's there in our own eye. That, that, might, that might come across a bit double dutch, but... There we are. Now then, if we really want to go for it... Just added some white to that top, just to lighten it a bit. Again, at the top, in from, always in from the top. Yeah. Just little touches. Somebody's painted a tree on here now, look. Just again, little touches. Only need a bit. Uh -huh, look at that. Now that's an easy way to, to paint a tree and it's relatively effective as a tree. You can embellish this any way you like once you've got it there. You can add to it or you can remove things. But it give, what it does, it gives you a head start on learning how to do this. I hope you've enjoyed this video today. I'm going to be making some more so Keep an eye out for me. 
thank you very much again for joining me. Cheerio for now.